Today's video is a sneak peek of what's coming tomorrow at fromthefield.farm. This is a segment of the entire video of Foxglove Farm with Michael Abelman. This is an incredible, so diverse market farm that's way more than that. It's a, it's a homestead. It's a farm that has all kinds of stuff. Very diversified vegetables, small orchard, grain field, small livestock. It's a beautiful farm on a very old homestead and there's heritage buildings on it. My wife and my family, we all stayed there for a weekend in the summer and it was beautiful. They've got sort of this agritourism aspect to their business as well. But in this video, I'm talking with Michael Abelman who is was who was one of my early inspirations before I got into urban farming. He started an urban farm in the 80s and we're going to kind of talk about that a bit in this video, but he also was the founder of the Soul Food Farm that's right in the downtown east side of Vancouver, which is an incredible social enterprise, very large scale urban farm, has multiple sites all over the city and is growing a massive variety of products and they also have a, you know, sort of a mission to employ people uh, in that area. So it's a really cool business model. And in this video, Michael and I are just kind of discussing some of the philosophies and the practicality behind urban farming from uh, our experience over the last, for him, 40 years, for me, 10. Enjoy. So even at the, what was the first urban farm name? The well, one I you... started one in 1980. Well, we started the Center for Urban Agriculture in 83, I think it was. And that was around this project in Watts that we ran, you know. And um, uh, that was um, way before the, <laughs> there was, yeah, I mean, when you use the words urban and agriculture in the same sentence in 1983, it wasn't a buzz. people thought, there was you'd stop them they go well, it didn't make sense now of course there's an international movement i mean you know which is fabulous a lot of it is not agricultural though and that's you know a lot of my friends who are um, uh, professional farmers as a career um, roll their eyes at a lot of what's being called uh, urban agriculture because it's it's just it's gardening and that's there's no value judgment because in a way from my perspective, I've always said that I look forward to the day when, you know, homeowners, when, when uh, uh, families, neighborhoods, and individuals um, put us out of business by growing for themselves. And that, in a way, part of this manifesto that I put out years ago, um, it was um, that farmers in the future should not actually focus their attention on fruits and vegetables. It should be on um, the kind of the, the engine of the diet, the protein sources and the pulses and the grains. And, you know, um, and that individuals and communities and families and neighborhoods should do their own lettuce and stuff like that. Um, people don't understand that entirely, but I feel like as, uh, as we see, you know, population increases and climate issues and all kinds of things, uh, transportation costs, uh, what farmers do to transport highly perishable products to um, eaters uh, and still have them arrive alive and well is unbelievable. It's, it's just crazy, you know. And we really should rethink that, you know, I think. You know? And p individuals need to take more responsibility for that, you know, oh, in my absolutely. view. Yeah. So, Blue, well, oh, you can't follow us. You're, th you're three-legged and you're not street smart. <laughs> 
especially when you look at um because that's that's been my space is the earth that's my book you know and and uh when i go to vancouver and i see a lot of what motivates these urban farmers they're just not really it's yeah. like when you have 20 500 square foot lots spread out between very Kitsilano. It's like there's very no inefficient. Li- completely inefficient. It's yeah. just well, I know even with soul food, I you know I'll look. I mean, our our sites are large. Yeah, you know, but um, but even moving between four sites, um, you really have to plan because yeah. if, like, you you know if you got a crew and and you hit traffic, <laughs> you could spend, you know, three hours going to a field. I mean, I, I walked my fields in a few minutes. Oh, she's not, she's going to follow us. She had to, we had, oh, no, psst, psst, go ahead, you stay there. <laughs> Let's get away. I've often wondered, um, you know, in reflection, doing this for 10 years, if the role of the urban farmer isn't so much to have a dent in the food system as it is to, is to disseminate Bingo. the connection to the uh, the food system itself. I'm I think, all, I I think, think that's the biggest right. role, you know. I think that that's really, um, I, I'm, I'm really with you on that. I, you know, I kind of have evolved my thinking on the whole thing, you know, and I, um, and I, I actually think for North America, I think you may be, that I, I think that's dead on. Yeah. I mean, you know, some parts of the world, it's about survival, you know, but not. You know, here now, here it's, a, I mean, education, and you're right, you know, place the models in the communities where people need to see them. Well, the and fact- don't expect that they're going to, you know, th- there's all these romantic ideas, you know, how we're going to, you know, feed our cities from within our cities. It's not going to happen. Well, and in North America, we still have so much soil. We have still have so much we soil. We have so we're much doing land. Our, we're doing our best to you know to deplete it and yeah. <laughs> destroy it you yeah. know but yeah no i think you i think you hit it dead on with that because you know um uh the educational part the inspirational part may be its strongest role you know yeah um but you know i always say i think there has to be kind of a you know more intelligent conversation than you know just how are we going to feed our cities from within our cities is the is um, what's the relationship between what goes on in the cities peri-urban and ur- and rural you know how do we integrate those systems you know what what's that overall system look like what does absolutely. that look like you know absolutely if you like that video head over to fromthefield.farm and the registration isn't open right now but it will be again very soon sign up for the email in list if, there if you want to be notified when it does see you in the next one